I've done it again. Jesus, I've done it again. I've never tried one of these cameras. So I thought, you know what, why not? I went online, I think I paid $150 for it. Stupid, stupid. It is an Instax SQ6. <laughs> And it's a dud, it doesn't work. So boxed up, shipped back. I have got to stop buying crap. Instead of that video, we're gonna play with this instead. Oh, yes. The Minolta Dynax 9, also known as the Minolta Maxim 9 and the Minolta Alpha 9, or even just the Minolta 9. Mine is branded as the Minolta Dynax 9. I've seen this camera described as the greatest film camera ever made. I don't know about that because I've used so many cameras uh, virtually every one of them I love to some degree. This one really is a little bit special. It was released in Japan in 1998 and the stock production somewhere around about the mid 2000s. All metal body, fully weather sealed, it is a monster of a camera. It was Minolta's flagship professional 35mm SLR camera. When I was shooting sport back in the day this was the camera that I chose. I was already into the Minolta system and I got a Minolta 300mm 2.8 lens. Uh, so it made sense to get this camera body, which had just been released in 98, rather than sell the lens, try and fund a Canon lens and a Canon body or a Nikon lens and a Nikon body. So uh, it made sense to get this camera and uh, I never regretted it, not for a minute. Apparently, this is the highest spec film camera of all time, <laughs> ever, which is uh, a long time. It's just packed with so many features. The vast, vast majority of them I don't use. I'm going to use a roll of Rolleye RPX100, 36 exposures. We'll turn the camera on, you open the back door, you can do it with the camera turned on or off actually. Put your film cassette into the slot, pull the leader out of the cassette until you get to that red mark. And then you just close the back door and it should wind on. So it's wound on to frame number one. I want to turn it off so I don't make any uh, boo-boos and waste the frame. This camera is DX coded. It will read the ISO coding on the film cassette. That will set the ISO for you. You can go into this little cupboard here and manually set your ISO if you want to push the film or pull the film, whichever you want to do. I'm going to shoot it at box speed. It's fine by me. So I bought my camera in 1998. I also bought at the time the VC9 grip and that just makes vertical shooting so much easier. It also gives you more battery options. To power the camera alone, you use two by CR123 batteries. With the added VC9 grip, that allows you to use four AA batteries or two by two CR5 batteries. For the camera these days, I generally use the AA batteries because they're cheap and readily available. The body only will shoot 5.5 frames per second, but if you bought and attached the VC9 grip from memory, that allowed you to shoot 8 frames a second. Now I've had a search online just to confirm that, and I can't find any information whatsoever about it, so just take that with a grain of salt. The only lens I've kept is the 50mm 1.7. That's what I'm going to be pairing with this camera for this little shoot. Now this camera is so jam-packed with features, it would take me an hour and a half of my mumblings to get through them all. So what I'm going to do is link below to a series of three videos by the incredible David Hancock. It's an amazing resource for this camera and to be fair for other cameras. Any camera that you want, I'm pretty sure that David will have done it. Well, that's my Anzac Day done for another year. It's always an event I look forward to. It uh, makes some quite nice photographs. You start at the crack of dawn, just between shooting for the newspaper, I cracked off about maybe 17, 18 photographs with the Minolta 9. So that leaves me with about half a roll of film to shoot over the next few days. So after the Anzac dawn service, I went to Bay Skate, shot a few of the skaters there. Then I left there to follow a bit of a storm that was brewing out to sea. So the next day to finish off the film, I went into the city and photographed a catwalk fashion parade.
From that 36 exposure roll of film, I got 36 photographs. There's a couple that's out of focus, but the rest of them look spot on. From that 36, I've picked 11 photographs, which are my personal favourites from the roll of film. And just to round out this video, here's a little selection of photographs that I shot for the newspaper. Until next time guys, thanks so much for watching, supporting this channel and I'll see you on a future episode. Look after yourselves. Cheers.